Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And as we know, a balance patch is likely to be coming either late this week or early next week. And I thought it'd be a good time to talk about what nerfs, what buffs I think Hearthstone needs right now. Is there's a couple of things out there that I feel are just a little bit annoying, but overall, Hearthstone is in a pretty darn good spot. Even looking front page HS replay, six of the 11 classes in the positive, and even the legend meta has a pretty diverse cast of decks and characters, and even the tier three decks which there's a lot of are not particularly far off so I'll give my takes on what I think should get changed or buffed and feel free to comment down below what you would like to see get changed or what you disagree with and as always if you enjoy the content on the channel and you feel like I've earned your subscription please hit that sub button down below give the video a like it helps us out a ton we'll start off with nerfs and there's only two classes I would take a look at for nerfs and no it's not hunter I don't I'm not suggesting hunter nerfs and maybe to the surprise of some I'm not going to suggest Paladin nerfs. If you look basically at like Legend, Diamond through Legend, Paladin's good, but it's not an oppressive outlier. It's a deck that fights for board, and a lot of the newer cards are seeing play, and I don't really see a huge reason to nerf it. I don't think there are really that many major outliers out there, but the first class we'll take a look at is Mage. Mage is like the most popular deck by far across all ranks on the ladder, and it all comes down to this beautiful card here, Sith, which gives you spell damage plus one, and then is improved by each spell school you've cast this game. It is a ridiculous finisher that could just OTK at pretty much any point once you're at like eight, nine, 10 mana. It's just a little bit too good, but it is a very popular deck, one that I really enjoy. Um, I think a lot of people really enjoy playing it. It's popular for not only because it's good, it's not oppressively good. Its win rate is still, there's other decks that compete with it. It's just so popular that you just hear about it a lot. So I do think Mage should get nerfed. I, I do think that, but nothing major. Like I feel like one card or maybe two cards max should get hit. So if I was to make a suggestion for Mage, Sif would be one of them, where Sif would start with no spell damage, which basically she would gain a spell damage for each spell school you've played this game. If you take a look at the, you know, the other, one of the other spell school payoffs, Elemental Inspiration, that's how this one works. If you haven't played one spell school, this does nothing, right? Um, I think it would just be in common flavor with that. And the same argument I would make for the mech, which is also just a ridiculous card, Inquisitive Creation, that it would, again, start at zero and ramp up with every spell school you cast. It'll still be a really good card, still be a very competitive deck overall. I just think just a little nudge would help maybe dial back its efficiency and maybe its popularity just a little bit. But I wouldn't fundamentally kill anything. And no, I'm not even suggesting a mana change on Sif. You know, after Sharpshooter, I'll never suggest a mana change again, except if there was another consideration I would uh, throw in there. And again, I wouldn't make, I would make maybe one of these nerfs, two max to those minions, or you're looking at reverberations. I've said it forever at four mana. I feel like this card is slightly less efficient. And again, it's so punishing in Titans and Colossals and can also, you know, when it gets discounted uh, with Sif and creating that OTK potential or even not discounted now that we have those zero mana oils that it's just pretty ridiculous. So that's the other card I would consider for Mage. But again, I don't think you want to nerf everything. It's a really beloved archetype, very popular, but also very hated because it's really popular popular and it kills you from hand to hand so again i think mage is one of the classes that i would nerf and the only other one i'm looking at is warrior in rage warrior in particular is like just it's been so good for so long it runs like no new cards and um i just feel like a card that probably didn't even need to get buffed in the first place trial by fire could go back to seven right like the fact this is being used by like just i don't know a tempo mid-range aggro-ish combo what is in rage warrior it's such a it's a hybrid of a deck, that's for sure. That at seven, it's slightly less efficient. It's still discount with a Steam Guardian. I uh, get it to six and all that. It, it's just so ridiculously good. And it was a good card. Like, um, uh, Trial by Fire was absolutely a good card before it got buffed, but Warrior was really bad and it had been bad for so long. They're like, we gotta just 
we gotta make warrior good and buffing trial by far was definitely one of those things that really helped the saddest part would probably be about even warrior and wild that they would lose this so um yeah trial by fire is one the only other one and i don't see it brought up a lot it's just something that kind of bugs me is imbued axe i just feel like this card it doesn't matter if you infuse it or not and i think it's a bit silly i love to revert the buff where it's like plus one plus one or infuse two plus two plus two right so you actually want to infuse the card but again that one's not a big deal to me um i've also heard people talk about thori Balor as it is like what another like the other outlier besides trial by fire maybe reverting it but it saw no play when it was like you know had a limit on the summons maybe you could like lower the stats a little bit on it maybe you could make it five mana like the rat king something to make it less efficient but yeah thori Balor is another kind of one you could look at for but other than that i wouldn't nerf anything other than i don't know i'm personally just sick of seeing astalor every game but i don't think there's any chance this card's gonna get nerfed and it's really nice for like you know free to play players to just throw into like any deck if they have this legendary and it rotates in three months it's more of a pet peeve but i'll mention it but i don't think it's a card that necessarily needs to get nerfed will get nerfed or should get nerfed but it is like always in like 50 percent of decks and we all know my blood prince renathal got killed for a lot less but for me it's more about buffs i feel like a lot of the newer cards from showdown the badlands just you know they need a little bit of help and i was looking through death knight i don't think i'd actually buff anything in death knight because a lot of the newer cards are out there although i did make a note i would love to see ma and pa lose the unholy rune like it's not seeing any real play right now it's such a cool card and to let triple blood decks run it i think that would be really great so if i was to buff a death Knight card it would be um mon pot demon hunter i would love for reno demon hunter to be better i don't really know how you get there um snake eyes is a card that stands out to me as a three mana two three feels just not great to play the, the value you get off of it is like okay but i'd love to see this go down to either like two mana or just make this a three four i don't understand it really doesn't need to have like um a stat cost i think on this ability like i think that would be fine i don't know how you buff kurtris to make like uh reno decks better and this is also really toxic card so i don't know if you add more like seven random shots or eight random shots but i have noticed when i play this a lot of the times I just didn't kill any minions in their hand like six shots was not enough so maybe ramping up the amount of bullets it can shoot but other than that that's all i would buff from demon hunter druid i wouldn't buff anything they got all, they're doing really well and all their cards are good like they're all good so why would i buff that um hunter in particular i don't think there was anything i was looking at i'd really buff hunters doing fine um Hi reno hunters good the aggro hunters are good nothing's like insane but they're all good like i wouldn't buff anything there mage the only card i would really buff i'm looking at is the mezzadune the fractured maybe making it five mana could give more life to some elemental mage decks but again mage is doing really well and some decks are running you know the excavate cards and all that in the world so i don't think i would go too hard on buffing mage i don't think we're buffing paladin i don't think we're doing that priest is awful like right like all the priest stuff right now i don't even know how you say priest i was thinking that like injured hauler at least the overheal should deal three damage to all enemy minions like that's the good break point in aoe these days why is it only two you kind of need to get two activations on this just to clear anything of any significance so i if you want to help overheal priest maybe buffed um maybe buff this card to um deal three aoe also i just don't understand what this card uh posse possession is supposed to do i'll just make it three mana and a four four not a three three just a three mana four four copy or any mini opponent's hand you get a bit of extra stats and maybe a high roll eric like, i i just don't know what this card is supposed to be all about and tram heist could be like three or two mana right like this card at four is so expensive so situational i don't know why you would ever want to justify running it other than being like a greed, greedy greedy boy and swarm of light bugs is a good card i've seen arguments to like give the light bugs rush but think about that it's like a five mana heal seven deal a bunch of damage i i, I think the card's fine but like I don't know priest just got a bunch of stuff that doesn't do anything so of course it's not doing anything right like i don't know how you buff that like it, it's an awkward one and yeah priest just says i just just need to get some good cards give them some real cards some real like things to build around it's just not there um rogue i was looking at excavate rogue is certainly one you could consider um for me velorock absolutely deserves a buff just 
basically play three cards during the game. It doesn't need to be in your hand. I feel like that should be a thing. Um, it's so situational by having to hold it. I don't really love that aspect. Act Antique Flinger, as we know, has been underperforming, maybe making it a three mana four three, making it slightly more efficient removal, right? Um, I could absolutely see that. And then of course you have like the excavate reward itself. Um, I don't know what you can do with that, whether you can make the initial spells have a, ma a mana cheat on it, but overall, I don't think you wanna be buffing the wishing well. I, I don't know exactly, like you could buff shell game to two mana, but it still won't see play. Um, I really don't know what you're buffing with Rogue, but for me, Velt Rock is like the one that stands out the most in Antique Flinger. I mean, we just had our worst cards video and they were both on there. So they probably both deserve a buff. Uh, buff. Um, Shaman, there is one card I would love to see change slightly is Scar. Just, I would like it that it says improved by each turn you've played an elemental. Not in a row, each turn, so that you don't have to play an elemental every single turn so i'd like to see that change that would be rather nice for warlock the whole sludge thing not really working out whatsoever i'd like to see like sludge on wheels go to like do a two five one attack is so bad maybe even a three five so it could kill something right I, like it, it's just such a bad minion to play it feels really rough furnace fuel i'd like to make three mana so if i do have to play it i don't have to play this ridiculous tax for some reason no other cards really do that i guess you have like um the druid one where you get plus attack that that could be a thing like because that's four mana but it's so much easier than trying to discard or destroy this so i like to see that go to like three mana or something but again i really don't know what you can buff in that great for that archetype to make it really really work because you, you just need more cards there's just not enough sludge cards that's the biggest problem i've had playing that deck there's not enough ways to get they need more toxicity and hearthstone all right need more of me in there uh so yeah i probably suggest those two for warrior blast charge i think this should be one mana I really do, because like executes one mana, this should be like one mana, because it's never one mana. You gotta damage something, you gotta spend mana to do that typically. You could make it two, but at the very least two. But honestly, this I think could be one mana. Reinforced plating, I would just like make it two mana, gain five armor, excavate a treasure make it similar to shield block i think that would be a little bit more reasonable because it just these cards are so expensive that you really can't justify playing excavate war uh warrior and then slagma uh it's dormant for eight turns i'd at least try six maybe speed it up a little bit because as it stands it's so slow and by the time you get it out like everybody can answer it it's not a big deal uh so yeah that's another card i would buff for warrior and i think the rest are fine i don't think you really want to buff boom boss though Grun. if this card's really good it's so toxic like my god it blows up everything i don't think you want this card to be amazing i think you wanted it to be greed option so i'd probably leave it as is and battle of is just a good card like this is a good card even at seven i don't think you would buff it i think the excavate cards themselves uh would need a buff and the only buff suggestion i have for neutrals because i don't like buffing neutrals for the most part but there is one is the azurite giant i would give it the same suggestion as scar that costs one less for each turn you've played an elemental not in a row i, I just feel like it's such uh, a hindrance such a handicap that you have to play an elemental every turn for a particular class like shaman that doesn't have the greatest you know generation for elementals and getting that going it's it's just too hard to build around so i would like to see it just be for each turn uh you've played an elemental so those are my suggestions let me know what you think again nothing nothing huge i'm not nerfing anything too hard i don't think i'm buffing anything too crazy i think the meta's in a decent spot but just a little bit you know to get the stagnant top decks out of there and give some of the new stuff a little bit of life anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends